Hello and welcome to my review of Seven Samurai. You know, um, The Magnificent Seven just got itself its own re uh, remake that came out kind of recently. It just came out on DVD, I believe. And so with that, I was like, you know, let's let's watch the original Seven Samurai. I've heard nothing, nothing but good reviews about it. Um, this movie. This movie is, is good, but the the glaring fact, the thing that stood out to me the most, this movie's long. It's about 3 hours 28 minutes long and um I felt it. I felt that there was there's a good hour to an hour and 20 minutes of setup and and it worked. That was that was the thing to me. It was long, but but yet the setup it needed to, I don't, it needed to be that long as far as I'm concerned. Um, when when you it's it is a foreign film, but you for me I just had to I had to go into it knowing that I was gonna read subtitles for for this long and that it could some t it could take away your enjoyment of the movie because you can't it's you can't see every second of the actors acting while because obviously you're reading the subtitles which can it it can take away and it took away a little bit but this movie did a really good job of ha having that dialogue but not having it in excess it did a very good job of of storytelling through through visuals a lot of the time where when they are when they're trying to recruit the 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 samurai to come with them they the way they they test their skills is very it has nothing to do with with you know their knowledge it's all about their reactions and it's about what they do in certain situations when 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 the main the, the head samurai um, is testing the ones that they could potentially um, bring on to help them and um, I was trying to I was trying to think of you know whose story it is um, whether it was the old man's story or the or the 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 main char the main guy's story or the young guy's story and it it kind of is the young man's story but at the same time he doesn't really have a character arc you know none of, actually none of them do um so I this is this is the absolute definition of an ensemble movie where they don't really have character arcs they just all kind of come together and they 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 fight as one or they 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 come together as a, a team and the but the young man my favorite character is Kikushio the uh, the young man who he's not a samurai he's a uh, he's He's a farmer who stole the, the the lineage of a samurai, and he 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 comes in drunk, wanting to to go with them, and they take they take his sword away, and they they kind of mess around with him, in a way that they're all samurai, but but they know and they know that he's not a samurai, and even he knows that he's not a samurai, but it's he's really he's the 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 um he's the kind of the crux of the story where the the villagers hide their women from the samurai when they first come in and he he gives kind of a a, a monologue a little speech about how the samurai when he was a ki well what he knows is that the samurai would come and and kind of be you know jerks kind of take the villagers uh women for themselves and 
and it was it's such a good that was such a good scene because the samurai don't say anything back to him they know that that is what they've done and it's it's a beautiful movie for you know came out in 1954 at least that's when it's uh, US release was but the way the way it's shot it's very it either has you know kind of a mid a mid uh, a mid range battle scene or it has the 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 panned back you know the riders coming over the hills kind of scene or it has you know the extreme close up which which is it's it's very it seems like it's reminiscent of the time you know in in that they didn't have like super wide lenses so you you so they the the director and the 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 cinematographer had to you know bring back the camera and it's it's really it's it's a it's a really nice film this movie is funny it's um it's not it's it's not because you know it's it's subtle humor the the characters are constantly making jokes and and it's amazing because in this movie when the characters make jokes or when when Kikushiro who's um, the drunkard he's he's always making jokes and and he's just always kind of trying to clown everybody else and when he does that the movie the the people laugh in the movie they laugh at his jokes um, the other uh, the, the other samurai laugh at his jokes the villagers laugh at his jokes and one at one point he tries to ride a horse and then the horse like kicks him off and the villagers are just laughing at him and he's he is the comedic element of of the movie and it's he's really funny he's his jokes are funny even for today you know 1954 jokes funny still today and they're 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 really they're they're kind of set up sometimes and other times it's just like he's saying things you know just to say things but the, the this movie does humor in a way that I didn't think it would because of you know I thought it was like a serious you know war movie about samurais but no it's it's really funny and and what I liked I really liked is that the characters laughed at the jokes usually in movies where you have humor um, the jokester will tell his joke and then the other characters would be like, "Ah, oh, that's funny," or something, you know. But in this movie, they everybody's laughs like it's a, it's it does humor very well. That's one thing I must say, and it's I I liked the the way that they did the humor. Um, as far as negatives, the really the only thing for me is um, it's a little bit long. It's. I can't put like my finger on how much longer it is than maybe I would like it to be for for me, but um, and it, it's not the ending's fault. I feel like um, the beginning, the the setup. I think I believe that for me that took a little bit longer than it than it maybe should have, but. But yeah, that's that's it. I mean, um, it. I didn't get to see as much of the acting as I would like, just because I was reading subtitles. But that's you know that's. I knew that going in, so I knew I wasn't. I wasn't going to. Uh, I wasn't going to get you know to. To really, to really see their performances as much as I would like to. But you know that's 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 neither here nor there um, but in as as far as score goes just because it's a little longer and you know it's crazy it had an intermission and I was like what 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 is this <laughs> I when the inter when the intermission um, screen came up it was in Japanese I it might have said intermission I'm not sure but it was in Japanese it just had two Japanese characters up there and it just had like the score going in the background for about five minutes and 
two minutes into it, I was like, okay, this isn't like a four years later or four weeks later kind of thing. And I was like, wow, oh, it, it, it threw me off because I had never, I'd never seen a movie with an intermission. I'd seen plays with intermissions, but I, I, w- I wasn't expecting it at all, and it was, it kind of threw me off. But, but yeah, score just because it was a little long. Um, out of, out of five samurai swords, I give it about a four point six. It's, a, it's a really good movie. It's um the story is is wonderfully told better than Magnificent 7 the first one which I have you know on DVD and and I'm not sure about the the, the remake of Magnificent 7 but I I think it's safe to assume from all the reviews that I've heard about it that it is that Seven Samurai is better than that one than this new one too so yeah 4.6 I believe I said um it's a very it's very good. It's just it's just a little long, but it's not because the ending seems like it drags on. It's because the beginning kind of drags on a little bit. But yeah, um tell me what you think about the movie. Tell me um if you if you haven't seen it and this review, you know, makes uh causes you to see it or gets you interested in seeing it, by all means um find it, you know, on VOD or DVD however you can and watch it but you know go in, go into it knowing that it is it's it's a slow burn until you get until you get to that end where even the battles are there even for 1954 the battles are are really really well done um just know that it's a slow burn and that you'll be reading subtitles so but yeah um if you have any comments about about the movie put it down below let's have a conversation i'd love to i'd love to hear some of your your thoughts on this this amazing movie thank you for watching